61. The Open Door Last night we had dinner with a friend who had experienced a deep sorrow and loss not too long ago. She had met it, as all her problems, with faith and with trust in God. I believe, she said, that whenever God closes a door, he also opens another door for us. What we must do is to look for his open door. Virginia Corper is now finding that open door as, with her faith, she always will. We cannot tie the hands of God, nor can we order our destinies from him. None can stay his hand nor govern his doings. We can, however, recognise the wisdom and the grace of his ways and the perfection of his government. As St Paul declares, quote, We know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. End quote. Romans 8.28 This is far more than we could ever dream of asking. God makes everything add up for good to his own, so that in all things they are ultimately the gainers. By faith, then, we must in every situation look for God's open door. People who stand wailing before a closed door are blinding themselves to any future. I was not surprised recently at the radical moral failure of a friend who has spent about 15 years living in the past talking endlessly about a closed door. That closed door was a bad experience, but no worse than most of us have experienced, sometimes more than once. If we remain glued to that closed door, we cut ourselves off from life and growth. We live in the past and become a bore to the living. We refuse to accept God's reality and to profit by it. We are then the living dead, and inescapably we falter and fall by the wayside. We then forget that the door of God's grace and his prospering hand is always open to his peoples. Quote, Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. Revelation 3.8 Look for that open door.